What's up, everybody? PJ Braun here, president of Some Things with... Celeste Braun, uh, CEO of Some Things. <laughs> and uh, we are doing uh, Beauty Braun Reality, and we're, we're going to kick ass and go through this really fast, just like we did in the last one. Everybody loved the last one. We're going to do the same thing. Um, today was a little bit different. Uh, Celeste really started out the day because I had a friend in town who took me fishing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, two inches too short. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. I... Got it. That's awesome. Beautiful. First snook ever. Right. There you go. First Congratulations. Ever. We're supposed to kiss it like, uh, who is yeah. That? Bill Dance. Is that Bill Dance? No. But um, while that was going on. PJ Brown, the master fisherman. Mm. Uh, so today started out. I came to work a little bit earlier than normal, and we had Mike doing the video today. Unlike PJ, I don't have a cool parking spot with the um, the notice that you'll get prostituted if you park in the spot. I'm working on it though. We're moving into a new warehouse. Uh, I think in like two months, so I'm really gonna push for um, my own parking spot. I believe as the owner of Social Bodies and um, the president's wife, I should get a spot, right? I usually have to park over there on the side of the street. twice because the UPS truck's gonna get through. But I was gonna get a call from the delivery people coming to deliver my birthday present, um, which was the top of the line uh, commercial Stairmaster. Mm -hmm. So was, some, some girls want Chanel bags, not her. She wanted a Stairmaster. Me heads for life. <laughs> I was waiting for that delivery, so I told Mike, okay, here's the deal. We're gonna get as much work done as possible. I, and I also wanted to collect some money because I wanted to have a bet going on who was going to catch the biggest fish between Trevor, his uh, childhood friend Jay, who's here, and PJ. Um, oh, so I wanted to ask you. Okay, so I told you guys that um, PJ is on the fishing trip with Jay and Trevor. So here is my idea. Um, before I do any work today, I would like you, JR, this is PJ's dad, everybody knows, um, I feel like you are a experienced gambler, <laughs> and I wanted to see if you could help me set up some type of like um, spreadsheet or I don't know what we would do for people to bet who is going to catch the biggest fish between the three of them. I don't know how any of it works, like how people put money in and how, how they win and stuff. So can we do that? Yeah, I mean, pretty much you just have to have like people put all the names in and people choose who they think is going to catch the biggest fish. But are we putting money in? Yeah, I totally want to put money in, for <laughs> sure. Is there like, how do It has to be 100% payout, otherwise it is illegal. I don't know what that means. <laughs> we, we can't, we can't pocket any of the money. Okay, so. So say, if we take in a thousand, we have to pay out a thousand. Okay, is there like a minimum that people put in? How do you know who wins what? Um, yeah, because it, the, the fish will be weighed, I guess. Mm -hmm. But then you gotta know if it's total weight for like all fish or just one fish. Oh my God, this is so technical. Okay, <laughs> let's figure it out because I totally want to do that. So we kind of went through all that and as soon as I got his dad, JR, um, who's really good with gambling, to you know lay it out for me, I got the call from the delivery guys. Mm-hmm. Hi. Okay, uh, what's the ETA? Like 20 minutes? A set of guys have been here before. They always make a huge deal about how hard it's gonna be. Like, oh, we have to take it all apart because it's going in this little room. And I told Mike ahead of time, I was like, watch these guys because mm. they're gonna make a big deal about it and uh, it's gonna, they're gonna blow it out of proportion. And um, they did. And Mike caught some uh, sneaky footage. And because I asked the guys if I could film them and they didn't give me any response. So we're like, all right. Take 
one thing that I, I was happy to see on there, uh, because a lot of this is B-roll, was that um, Celeste was going to make sure she had cash to tip the guys. So, all right, the guys are actually almost done with the, uh, the stair stepper. Actually, it took way less time than when they had to put the uh, PJ's treadmill in there. So this is my theory, right? I think that these guys, no matter what, walk into the situation with like a shitty attitude saying, okay, oh, this is good. We didn't know this is going to be so hard. We have to do this, blah, blah, blah. And I think that they do it so that they get a bigger, bigger tip at the end because the customer's like, oh my God, you did it. You're awesome. Thank you. You got it. You fit it in my house. Hallelujah. And so they get this big ass tip. However, those guys have been in our house three, four times. So they know me. Maybe they know that they can work me. Maybe that's it. God damn it. Uh, but you know what, regardless, I always tip the, the guys good anyways because um, odds are they're not making that much money doing like deliveries for you know fitness equipment, so they rely heavily on tips. So, uh, you know, as long as they didn't bang up any doorways or walls, I'm happy to tip them well if they did a good job, you know, uh, job well done. So we're just running to Chase really quick to get some cash. And they're like, they said they'd be done in like 10, 15 minutes, they just have to finish putting on some screws and all that stuff so I'm pretty pleased with it uh, both of us um, come from a service industry background so we uh, we always tip like like really aggressively and uh, like most like, take this money yeah most of those people like really count on tips and I, I remember those days like when people wouldn't tip me how much it would bum me out especially when I thought I did a good job we came in for barbershop Wednesday and uh, every Wednesday uh, our boy Ryan comes in and cuts everybody's hair <laughs> From there, uh, he came back to see what was going on with Barbershop Wednesday, and I was doing my, my daily Barbershop Wednesday Periscope. We had some haters on there today. I thought that that was sort of funny. Don't they hate on Ryan, you say? No, they love Ryan. He they always gets hit on. on. You'll, you'll see that. They hit on him. In the, for somebody was hating on, on my fade, and my fade is fantastic. Love the fade, babe. Uh, Formula 19 is actually very, very inexpensive. Um, I wanted to, to price it higher than that. It should be priced in the $60 to $70 range, and that's still a really good deal. I knew that people would ask me the question that you just did right there about $45 for 15 servings, but here's the thing. For you to get Formula 19, for you to get what's in Formula 19, you'd have to go out and buy Carbolic or Carbolin, so you're already at 40 bucks right there. Then you'd have to buy Glutamine, there's another 30, 40 bucks right there. Then you'd have to buy Leucine, there's another 30, 40 bucks right there. Then you'd have to go buy alpha lipoic acid, that's $20. And then you'd have to go get a Pedialyte, that's six, seven dollars right there. So you can add all that up together. That's what's in Formula 19, every scoop. Plus, I use the magnesium glycoglutamine, which is expensive and nobody else is even using it. Time to step into the 2000s. What does that mean? What does that mean, time to step into the 2000s? About to take blackjack soon, can't wait for the results. Oh, that's still out there, enjoy that. 90s were great, but what? What am I missing out on? I missed the beginning of what you were saying. Get paid Friday. Oh, the hairstyle. Oh, no, 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 man. This is the Bronster, dude. This is the Bronster. This shit came out very late, the late 2000s. You gotta, you gotta get up with the times, man. You gotta get up on TMZ. See what, see what the ballers are doing. It's back to the future day, Yep. This haircut actually made your girl want to have sex with me, so it's crazy. It's, 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 that's how good this haircut is. I told her no, though. I'm happily married. Yeah, so what we're going to do, guys, is... He has a small tip, yes. I, I think that you're probably right about that, too. Usually people that belittle other people do, in fact, have small wieners. It's like a, a factual part of uh, small wieners. They, they belittle other people. When I was in school, this, uh, this <laughs> teacher that I had, an English teacher said to be little, as in the word be little, is to be space little. She wrote that on the board. And I actually remembered it all these years. I was very, very young. And I, I agree with that. Um, I think unless you're dealing with somebody like Lewis upstairs in the call center, that you should not be picking or making fun of anybody. Nobody's hitting on uh, Ryan today. Did he lose his mojo? Yeah, what is it? Is it the backward tire? Usually he gets it. Usually he's getting numbers. Dis disappointing. 
Is it the purple? Oh shirt? my god, when you're posting the blood work picture, I'm such an asshole. I keep forgetting to do that. Somebody make me post that when I get off this periscope. He was drinking too. All right, there we go. The fade is, look at yeah, that. It's magnificent. Talk Where's that now. kid that was talking shit? He's gone. Notice that. He's out. You Once were, everybody started saying he had a small dick, his, uh, he was killed. Sessions? Make sure you've got a couple thousand followers at least on your Instagram. Oh, who was that? Salt. <laughs> good. Good. Someone just bit the dust on the hoverboard. I am very particular about my hair. I have to have a specific fade. A lot of people don't like fades, but this dude's really, really good. And um, it's awesome not having to go anywhere to get your hair cut. Saves us a lot of time. From there, uh, David wanted me to see the new website. Plus, we got new labels coming out for awesome new products. And uh, there's a big prime nutrition sale coming la next week. So be ready for that. The homepage, which is not at the skid on yet, so it's gonna look very naked. Okay. You have a big slide at the top. Yeah. We can change it out if you need to. Here's another slide. There's a sample mm -hmm. for now. Latest product. Here we have a banner, so something we want to push. Right now, I'm like Beauty and Bronze. Cool. This is something I'm experimenting with, so like it's rotating, it probably won't be. This was the one that I had yesterday. And this is cool, this is good. And, um,. I, you know, this is how good Grant is at taking my thoughts. I was like, if you could put some ice skulls or some ice, like make it really look cold. And uh, that's what we got now. What he turned it into is this one, which I think is a considerably better label if you want to show that. Um, to me, that's a much better label. Yeah, so much colder. And then we got into the Amazon talk. Uh, Amazon has been the key, uh, the key like uh, antagonist to this reality <laughs> series that we, we've done. So you'll see the Amazon talk. Dude, how crazy is this Amazon shit, by the way? Won't run anymore? Yeah. You know, it kind of works out good for the video, right? I, it's, a, it's amazing. Crazy. I wonder how that happened. Like, who told them to do that, you know? Is Matt Rossi here? I think he's probably a little upset. Well, how do you figure out? I mean, his job was, like, limited by that. Yeah. Well, he's a good, very good worker, so. Oh, no, Black and Lives were removed. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> but the Amazon thing is just like mind blowing to me. Yeah, I know. Have you done any any like research to like why it's just a theory on the arms and stuff? I'm pretty sure it just has to do with how many times people have put up our products after they've gotten banned, only to get banned again. Like you have to you have to understand, like Epic Hat was banned at one point and it was put back up. DMZ's been banned about 10 times, Alpha's been banned about 6 times, Ostapir's been banned a bunch of times, LGD and MK both got banned at least once, mm -hmm. um, Resurgence Pina Colada got banned once, so like at least half of, of our products have been banned at least once, so they've kind of used that and like all the stuff about the SARMs and stuff, um, with the lawsuits and all that nonsense. I was surprised they took, even the protein, they took everything off, Yeah, so. like everything that has our brand name tied to it is banned. Well, uh, even though I think that this is like super good in the long run for Blackstone Labs. I'm yeah. sure that you're probably kind of like concerned. I'm bummed out. Just so like, you know, like we're going to have a very good like spot for you, like that you'll be incentivized on. You're a very good worker. Like you didn't just like get your job eliminated. Like there's lots of things that I, we can... I have a bunch of other jobs like yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want you to like think like, oh man, like I just lost like my, my shot at, you know, making more money and everything else. I mean, it, it is like commission is part of it, but like I'm just upset that we can't like utilize the second most profitable aspect of our business anymore. Yeah, um, it's based on a per unit, not as it, it, There's things that are, are negative about it, but I, I think again in the long run there are positives. There's a lot do, more positives. I think they do in the long run outweigh the negatives. Yeah. So um, it's like first form. Like they're everybody yeah. sticks to their price, and then nobody can do anything about it. Yeah. eBay is gonna be tough, but like eBay is. A lot harder to attack, and also less people buy on eBay than Amazon. Yeah. So well, if you're gonna ignore any third-party thing, it would be that one. Okay. Uh, although we we can identify some of them. I know like EGZ on Prime is really bad. HD sells on there, stuff like that. We'll see how it how it how it goes, and if things start to present themselves as more problems now that Amazon's gone. But yeah, I've already started the spreadsheet for doing the map protection stuff on Prime. Okay. Um. It's not really going to be useful for the first two months or so while everyone bleeds dry from all their distributor mm -hmm. uh, inventory. But in the meantime, I can find out who a lot of these guys are. Okay. So that way, when we get there, we'll already know who everybody is. I've already talked to Jody about it, um, and she's totally on board. Okay, cool. Awesome. 
Well, you do a great job, man. So thank you, thank you for everything that you did for Blackstone. Wow, we were. It just sucks that we did it, and then the next day. It was I know it's so crazy. It's funny how it worked out for the reality show. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> but uh, yeah, we're we're gone from Amazon. So, uh, and then from there, a little lighthearted a gift from Europa uh, from Eric Hillman sent us the Europa Man. Pretty amazing. Let's open the box. So strong. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Why do you why who sent that? Eric Coleman from Zero Buff. This is our, too. our present for uh for staying. For staying with them. Hilarious. Oh my gosh. I think yeah. we got two Europa men. Lewis, you have to keep this on your desk, actually. <laughs> you need to get rid of the picture of Sheridan Love's tits and put this there instead. <laughs> you should put one of these in our store, in one of the stores. Wow. We can't put that in the store. That'd be like slapping John Hoffman on the face. Yeah. Oh, Aaron, I got one for me. Look at his his uh, taper. is impressive. Right? Look at you got look. That. And that little lighthearted humor uh, segues into the the saga of who really won the uh, the best fish. When they walked in the building, I asked. I was like, "All right." I collected money from all the guys. Eleven guys participated in the warehouse, and then everyone kept saying, "Mike will back me up on this." That Jay won. I was just coming up here to give money. Um, Chris actually voted for for J2. Evangelista. Talk your money, Chris. Oh, yeah. That's right. How much did each person win? Wait. Wait. What did, who did Chris? So it was Karen, Mike, David. No, Chris Evangelista did not. Who did Chris vote for? Trevor. Voted for Trevor. Yeah, that's right. Oh, cool. Terrible <laughs> alignment. Trevor, did, I was Trevor just keeping my mouth shut. Like, no. <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> Trevor was doing a lot of videotaping, though. That's fine. Oh, I should have thought of you? that. You? Uh, he didn't need to. I told him and, to fish as much uh, as he wanted. He was fishing, too. Karen. Once I caught my two, I was kind of bored after that. I caught one, like, right away. I, I caught the first one. Only three people picked Jay, uh, you know, thought that he was going to win. And so I'm, like, getting him on camera, like, giving his acceptance speech and, like, you know. And <laughs> Anyways. He starts going into this whole thing. Trevor was offended. Nobody gives a shit. Yes. Um, but the winners for the bet are you, uh, David, upstairs, the head of IT, and uh, PJ's mother. His own mother voted against him. Um, so Jay actually uh, caught the biggest fish. So let's go ask him about it. Really good. Yeah. So uh, like while you guys were gone, I went around the office and took tallies and um, you know. I feel like I didn't. I didn't get a lot of votes. So. You didn't, but I explained to them that you this whole tr like fishing trip was your idea that you mm -hmm. fish a lot, and mm -hmm. so that persuaded certain people. You know, Karen knows you though. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, actually, I'm pretty sure Jared just put <laughs> like he said that this is for Karen and didn't yeah. ask her. So that's really Jared. It's um, kind of cheating. Yeah. So, you know, it was uh, 11 people participated and you got a lot of few votes and, you know, 90% mm -hmm. uh, of them don't even know who you are. Exactly. What did you catch? Uh, a snook. I caught a snook. Basically, I I'll grab my charger if, you in if it wasn't for Blackstone Labs products. In exactly. <laughs> You also caught a jack. In particular, That's what we were Angel getting Dust. at, actually. <laughs> and a jack. jack with a jack. Oh, yeah, my jack. He, uh, yeah, he used jack. Angel Dust energy. Yeah, That's I was amazing. actually on Angel Dust when the fish was pulled up. <laughs> That's was amazing. Things. You want to do the um, I'm determining like, whether or not it was good. Because a while there, it took like a lot of focus to like, get it in. And I would say that's from like the death penalty mm -hmm. and the hype, mm -hmm. you know? And then everything just sort of came together. So, you guys watching out there, if you're an avid fisherman, mm -hmm. the moral of the story is you're going to catch the biggest fish if you take angle with us. He didn't catch the biggest fish. He caught more fish than. No, who you. What caught, is going on? I caught on? the biggest That's by default, though. I caught the fish. I just came, you guys came in here and told me, everyone said that Jay caught the biggest fish. He caught I just the most fish. Well. We have the tape. It's the guy did say they were kind of like the Listen, same. Yeah, you know I was, what? I was, a, I was an inch shorter. He was, whoever had, was in second place was two inches shorter. So, I caught the What the hell? There's some funny B-roll footage of me complaining about there never being salt in there. There really never is salt. There's always pepper. Why do they always give a lot of pepper but never any salt? That irritates the fuck out of me. Yes. 
salt in the drawer. There is salt shakers are always missing. Up there? I have a salt shaker right here. You do? Here, yeah. Beautiful. Put <laughs> right here. You can use it. Don't don't go too far with it. It'll be gone. I need that. Myself and Aaron, we both use a lot of salt. Um, today, you guys are gonna see this and be upset. We still haven't sent out the beta test products yet. And I know that guys are waiting for that. And um, Reese is sitting on my foot. <laughs> and uh, they are going out. It's just we had to make sure that thing was organized the right way. There's two groups of, of people. Um, and there's two different products. They really were supposed to go out two days ago. I know they can't go out today because it's already too late. But tomorrow they like have to go out. So I, I don't know if you figure out what's like the easiest way to, to keep it organized. So what's the difference between the red cap? The red cap? And the black, black, black cap. This group just gets this one bottle of the red cap. Uh, and there's directions for it, which is... Group A is what? Group A. Okay. I'm going to put these directions in with it also. Okay. Group B is two bottles, and they have to do four capsules. So those are the smaller ones. The black yeah, so there's more of those. So we took out, because we're going to have two of the guys here going to be able to test it. And then he has all the information. So if you just send me the emails with the addresses and stuff, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll just I'll put it like that. From there, uh, Celeste had to go and like run and do some errands because she's got so much stuff to do before we leave for LA this weekend. Um, I came home to start cramming in my lizard stuff that I didn't get to do this morning. Celeste is running around. She's uh, she's so busy now, and it's like. You know, back when we first, we were like, you know, obviously way past the dating point, but like first like living together, and she was like, you know, her life was so much different before she retired because she was on the road every single week. She was on the road between 275 and 300 days of a 365 day year. And so her life was nuts and it went from like a million miles per hour to just uh, completely like stopped. And, uh, you know, she, she was passionate about starting this company and I had it, had, you know, helped her get it going. And like a lot of people were telling her, like, oh, like you're going to make millions, you know, you're a star and this and that. And like all those people, like I was like, dude, they, these people don't know what they're talking about. It doesn't work that way, you know? And uh, when we first started, you know, she, her first day of sales was really good. And then it was just slow, so slow. And uh, there were days that there was like no sales. And I was like, listen, you know, it's just, you're gonna have to market it the right way. Like your fan base is almost all guys and little kids. And like that, that's not the people that are buying fitness apparel. Like we're gonna have to like integrate you into our world and they're gonna have to see how awesome you are and see how awesome the product is. And that, that combination of stuff is gonna make it work. It's a great idea. Like, I wouldn't have let you retire if I didn't know that it could be a success. And like there were times that she would even like, I would come home and she would be crying. And uh, she would just be like, oh, I feel like, like I'm such a loser. Like I'm not doing anything to contribute. And I was like, trust me, I'm like, when this thing takes off, you're gonna miss these days. You're gonna miss, I'm like, I know you're, you always think I'm so busy because she'll always be like, oh, do you have to like be on your computer? You have to do this. And I'm like, honestly, I do, unfortunately. And uh, now <laughs> she's so freaking busy because Celestial Bodies has taken off. That like, you know, we get up in the morning early and she's right away working and a lot of times late at night she's working and she'll be like, oh, I'm so freaking busy, I'm so freaking busy. And I was like, hey, remember what you wished for because you said that you felt like a loser and that you wanted to feel like you were contributing and now you're really busy. Like, this is what it's like, you know, this is how it's gonna be. And uh, although like, uh, I always like encourage her, I let her know, I'm like, it's only gonna get worse. <laughs> it's not gonna get easier. But uh, it's it, the reason I'm even like, saying this out loud is because she was texting about how busy she is and I just kind of had like a flashback to like back in those days when there wasn't as much going on but uh I think it's so cool because I've like already gone through that beginning stage like with the stage that she is in right now I think as a business owner is by far the most awesome awesome moment you're not really making like big big money yet but you're at the point where you're like, wow, people really like what I have to put out. 
like this is real like people are really coming back for more and saying that they love it and it's like this most like exhilarating feeling that you get like i remember when i was doing the blackstone labs orders and uh I'd be getting customer service emails and people would be like, dude, I love that your product so much. It's so cool that I can talk to you. And I'd be like, oh, that's awesome. And uh, I'd be like, ah, oh, there's freaking 30 orders today. Oh my God, there's 35 orders today. And they were like slowly going up, slowly going up. And I would like take pictures of the garbage bags and like send them to Aaron and be like, dude, look at all the stuff I'm bringing to the post office today. And that's a really, really, really fun. Even though you're working your ass off and you know, it's just like, you know, she's, she's a one man show, you know, and that's like how I was back then, but it's a really fun stage to be in, you know, I, and uh, I had a lot of guys that told me they're like, you know, don't try to get too big, too fast. Don't try to get too big, too fast. And, you know, we did get big pretty fast and I miss a lot of those old days. I miss how things were, were a lot less stressful, a lot less responsibilities. And now we have, uh, I employ, you know, my parents and a lot of my friends and you know a lot of other great people and so there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that of you know making sure that everybody's getting paid fairly and making sure that the company is you know growing the way it needs to to, to keep the job security for everyone and, uh, make sure that everybody's not you know overworked you know, there's a lot of constant stressors that that get involved with being a big company so um i uh I admire, I guess, I'm envious of uh, where Celestial Bodies is right now, but it's cool because I'm, I'm reminiscing and seeing the old days of Blackstone in her, and it's, uh, it's really cool. It's very, it's very neat. Also, I think that it's very neat to uh, see a woman who's my partner uh, be as passionate about as something that I am because there's a lot of people uh, in the world that are doing stuff that they're not passionate about and uh, they're not really happy. They're just doing their job because that's what they believe they're supposed to do to pay the bills or whatever. And um, I think when you're doing something that you're passionate about, if you're able to do that, even if it's just enough to make a living, like you're really, uh, you're really fortunate. You're really, I hate the word lucky. You're really, uh, and I don't really use the word blessed, but you're really just fortunate because it's not, it's not like a job. You're just doing something that you really love and you just happen to be getting paid for it. So. It's my little, it's not really a soliloquy. I guess it's just a, uh, I just thought out loud for a few minutes there. <laughs> this is why you have to have a hoodie on when you do this. Come on. So the red one, it's really a rust color, but they call them red, is uh, Salamanca. And the green one is all dirty from ripping up the top of the stage. This is Sava. And um, the Sava was my first one. I got him with um, Chi Chi, who unfortunately passed away. She was an albino. And um, I wanted to get just a regular AV green iguana. And uh, they gave him to me for free. All right. And um, Salamanca, I got a lot later. Also a baby though, when I got her, I got her for Christmas. So she's about a year old. Also, um, I got to get some time with uh, Jackie on the roof and Reese, of course, and everybody loves Jack stuff. He's only good for like three or four sprints. Reese will call him from there, Deanna showed up, and uh, Deanna has been in my life uh, pretty much longer than anyone since I've moved here. For me, yeah. So, like, I come home, and I lived in this um, uh, condo community, and it was, like, all, you know, like, uh, kids and, like, married couples, like, like no young single people at all, and... Um, what about your next-door neighbor with the Hummer? <laughs> no, this was back in... Um, in uh, Danbury, in Connecticut. So uh, it was a summertime, right? And I'm chilling by the pool. There was like a little um, community pool. And uh, it was so funny 
because none of the parents would ever talk to me, ever. But the kids would always want to, like, squirt me with their skirt, squirt guns and shit. And the parents would be like, please stay away from the nice man. Like, they'd always call me the nice man because they were terrified if I wasn't nice. And um, I would always be cool to the kids, you know? So um, I'm, like, walking back to my uh, apartment, and um, I uh, wanted to get some food. And I see all these kids, like, standing around the tree, and they're, like, all making a big deal. And so I walk over, and I'm like, what's going on? And, like, the, the cat's name was something hilarious, like bonkers. They were like, bonkers is stuck up in the tree. And there's this cat, black and white fluffy cat, meowing way, way up in the tree. And I'm like, damn, how the fuck did he get up there? And so we're all like freaking out, and this one kid's like crying, and uh, this lady's like, I'll call the fire department. And I'm like, no. Oh. PJ Braun yeah. I'm like, I don't think you need to do that. And I was like, does anybody have a ladder? And this guy is like, you're gonna climb that tree? And uh, he's like, it doesn't look too sturdy, and that branch is dead. And I'm like, well, I'll just stay away from that, right? <laughs> so, like, I, like, start climbing up the tree, right? And I was, like, 260 pounds. And I step on this branch, and the branch, like, breaks. But, like, fortunately, I was, like, holding on to this other <laughs> branch so I didn't fall. And, like, down. everybody's, like, gasping at the same time. <laughs> and um, the cat, like, runs, like, farther up the tree. And I'm like, God damn. So I'm like going higher and higher and I'm like super high like up into this tree. Like I'm like at least 15 feet off the ground. Like fall enough that if I fell I was gonna not die but break my legs. <laughs> <Not> die. <laughs> and um, <laughs> that was actually a statement by a guy that was watching it. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, if you fell you would have broke both your legs. And so, so uh, anyway, so the cat is not coming to me and I knew all cats respond to the voice. <laughs> <laughs> The PJ Brown voice. <laughs> it used to be known as the piglet voice. Like people would always like, like uh, ask me to like do it on the radio show and stuff. <laughs> and so I, I finally I was I was going, come here, bonkers, come here, little baby, come here, little bonkers, hi, little baby. And then he like slowly started like easing up and like coming over to me. And I grabbed him by like the patch of hair on the back of their neck, and I like took him off the branch and I started like coming like back down. Everybody was clapping. And um, it was so funny because all the kids were like uh, making such a big deal about it. And the parents were like saying that I was like a superhero because I was like the big muscle guy, you know. So, and then after that, I w my whole like uh, life changed at the community pool because the moms would like give me like Capri Suns or like, you know, popsicles. Like they'd be like, here. And like they knew that I was like cool after that. It was pretty funny. So. <laughs> Uh, I got, found her right away when I moved to Florida three and a half years ago. Somebody said she was a very, very good massage therapist, and that's something I'm a huge advocate of. And um, she has been massaging me every single Wednesday. I'm a creature of habit. And she takes very good care of me. We got some funny stuff with her in there. She and all uh, the dirty laundry, basically. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're trying to rush to get this done now because I have to do Periscope. Now, my, my first ever size slim periscope, and you guys will see a little bit of that. This is so much more than just, you know, somebody who is perhaps overweight, okay? Because um, I was talking today to uh, uh, Matt Collins, who's uh, my partner in size slim, and my best friend Jason is here. He uh, is my financial uh, advisor, and uh, we grew up together. I don't really trust people easily. He's the only person that I trust with my money, and he's done a fantastic job, and so he's down here for my annual review. So Jay is uh, my longest friend since we were both little boys in uh, New Fairfield. We went to New Fairfield High School together and he has uh, grown up to be uh, the most uh, successful, besides myself, most of, successful. Uh, of all of our friends. And he's definitely the smartest one of all of our friends that we grew up with. And um, he is my uh, financial advisor and so I prefer to speak to somebody uh, in person over this, and I don't really trust people easy. Um, also, I noticed when I was reviewing the footage that I slouch with my belly a lot, and I'm trying to like <laughs> look good while I do this, despite this horrible thing. But, so he's here for my annual review, okay? So we're not gonna show you guys all the stuff in here. Lots of charts and graphs. Lots of charts That's and graphs. I love charts and graphs. He, he knows colors. that. He's he gives me, <laughs> he's gives me awesome colors Shapes. and stuff. He loves shapes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. is it, I don't like the like all the number parts, but no, yeah, he likes the shapes and the colors. The most. <laughs> we are giving everybody an extra video this week. Are we? Yeah. 
three videos this week and oh, yeah. possibly three next week too. I'm like, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so that was our crazy day and all of our days are crazy, but it's not over yet. We got stuff to do still. Still going strong. Mm -hmm. So for my beautiful wife, Celeste, I am PG Braun. Check out all our shit. Peace out. <laughs>